we're going to take a look at building a brick rocket stove. Rocket stoves have been around for a while. Uh, they're, this is very easy to put together, and yet it has a lot of benefits. Okay, we got our bricks stacked up, and I got a couple of flat uh, cement bricks just to lay down as a base. I have 28 bricks here. I'm not really sure if we're going to use them all. And, of course, we'll go through it as we do it. Uh, I did hear some things about concrete that maybe regular brick material is better. Uh, but this is going to be more just a test base. So um, what I've seen so far with cement bricks, they haven't had any issues. So we're just going to go ahead and use the cement. They're a little bit cheaper, and uh, it's just going to be a fun project. We're going to need to split one of these bricks in half to make it fit for uh, where we place the wood. I'm going to take this chisel, see if we can break it like that. Got the edges broken. Now setting up the bricks, I'm going to go ahead and start with one of my half bricks. And then you'll want to do, just to kind of line it up, kind of have a U shape at the very bottom. I'm going to put a piece of screen right in here. That way the wood will set on the screen and the ashes will fall underneath and it will give it a good draft. Once I get the screen laid, I'm going to go ahead and put that other half over here and then make another U. Then just start stacking your bricks. You want to crisscross them. This gives it some added strength. And I ended up having one brick left over. One of the big appeals about the rocket stove design is you use just regular small firewood uh, in a, something like this, this nest. I just pulled this off of an old cedar tree that we have in the yard, and this is great fire tender. But it's just things that you have around. You don't have to have the larger logs to get this started. I've got some Vaseline and cotton balls, and I'm gonna use my lighter. To rough this stuff up, get it really nice and fibery. There's some smaller sticks in here too that are gonna burn a little bit longer. Of course, your nest, you can make it whatever's available. And that's another beautiful thing about this system. We're gonna put our tender in this top chamber. Vaseline and cotton balls. Just wanna kinda pull those fibers loose. This is one of the best fire starting tenders I know of. I'm just gonna light it. already starting to smoke out of the top. I'm gonna go ahead and push that on in there just a little bit. We can go ahead and start placing some small sticks. And it's fine for the sticks to hang out. That way when they start to burn, you can just feed them on into the chamber. Looks like we got a nice little fire started. Looking through the top, looks good. I had a couple of pieces of granite that uh, was used for roofing and we're gonna set that on top of a screen. This keeps a lot of the sparks down and it's also gonna give us a good base to be able to put our pot right here or our pan. Just a skillet right here. A little bit of butter. Okay, a lot of butter. <laughs> This is probably a larger skillet than you're really going to want to do just because it's uh, your, your flame is centered up. But we have just we're going to do one egg. Got our flame going. Pretty good in there just keeping those sticks pushed forward giving it fuel. 
If you need to, you can blow on it, but uh, the flame's going actually pretty good. It's not really level. It's okay. Got this egg out of the coop this morning, good and fresh. This is gonna be good. Yeah, I think a smaller skillet would be perfect for this size. See the flames really going strong. And I've got a little snack. In a situation where you have a loss of power, you don't really want to be cooking inside uh, necessarily with fire. So this makes it a great way to cook outside and keep it just the ventilation because that carbon monoxide and the fumes and everything coming off that fire can be somewhat dangerous. <laughs> Oh yeah. Not only is this a great way to cook, but it's also a great way to heat. If you're outside, you're just enjoying yourself. This isn't bad for a small little fire pit, just to keep you warm in the cool evenings. Just another purpose. You know, to me, it's all about self-reliance. It's all about living off the land. And I'll tell you what, if you think about these things, you can use them to improve your everyday life. This project cost me under about 30 bucks. Uh, each of these bricks were 70 cents a piece for the concrete. Actually, the regular bricks were less, but they had holes in them. These slabs on the bottom, the two, were $1.60 a piece. And then, of course, the screen, if you buy it, it's pretty inexpensive. I already had this on hand. Uh, and then, of course, whatever you're going to do here. I've seen some people take the eyes that are on a gas stove and use those. Uh, you can pick those up a lot of times at an appliance store, or you can pick them up a lot of times at flea markets. So putting something together like this is really simple. It's easy. It's cheap. And it's just a fun project, but more importantly, it gives us knowledge in case we really need something, we know how to do it. And a lot of times we have the bricks just laying around the house. So always good to keep thinking, think about your different preps, no reason to spend so much money because there's a lot of things that need to be bought uh, if you're trying to be prepared. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. And just starts now I'm now I'm gonna stack my bricks and 